early childhood is the most important period of one's life. First, we have the physical development of the child. That means the growth in weight and height, generally what the doctor will track on some sort of growth curves. Second, we have the motor development of the baby, which is basically the development of the hands, the eye, and the capability of you know, performing certain actions in coordination. Then third, the cognitive development, which is the ability to process information, to think, to remember, to solve problems, to use imagination, evaluate information critically, and so on and so forth. We have language development, which is the development of the faculties and capabilities of understanding sounds and making them make sense in terms of language. So that means speech and a little bit later on even reading and writing. The social development is another Another pretty important part of the early childhood development. It's basically the ability to get along with others, to interact, to make friends and maintain relationships. Finally, we have the emotional development, which is the ability to understand and deal with and have appropriate feelings at the appropriate times. One of the hardest areas to develop because most adults are still very much lacking in that department. Since this, the emotional development is the part that is the hardest and that is the most often underdeveloped up not because the child isn't smart enough but because society puts less of an emphasis on emotional development compared to physical development and language development and all these other things that are more easily measured because of all of that i have made it my life's work to help parents new parents raise emotionally healthy and happy humans and being a healthy emotionally happy adult starts in early childhood it starts at the time where we learn how to understand and deal with and express our emotions in a reasonable and suitable manner and in order to do that we have to be heard by adults we have to be validated we have to be guided by adults because we aren't naturally born with the capability to speak french and english and japanese so in the same way we aren't naturally born with the ability to manage and handle all of our emotions and feelings let me know if you agree with that i'd actually love to hear more opinions this is actually a presentation that was made by experts in the field and so i just thought i'd share because i am lucky to be able to attend those events and learn a lot about those things and i really want to share the knowledge because it is so important and we need to raise awareness about early childhood thank you for listening